Hey nerds, Amy here, and today we are going to take a look at the difference between rules and reminders in Microsoft Lists. At Amy's Animal Barn and Petco, we have a list to track pet stays at our dog boarding facility. All right, let's nerd out. Before we get started, the first thing that you are going to do is open your list in SharePoint. Alternatively, you can open up your list in Microsoft Lists. The first item that we are going to look at is reminders. So we will go to automate and set a reminder. And you'll see right away that the first items that pop up are check in and check out date. So that is what a reminder is. It is a date based trigger. In this example, what we are going to do is set a reminder three days before the check-in date, which is where we would review each pet's stay prior to their arrival to ensure that all items are covered, such as payment has been completed. So we will go to automate, set a reminder, and check-in date. And you'll see here, remind me a number of days in advance of the date in the column. So this is the definition of a reminder and it also highlights a limitation. So we can only remind the person that is creating the reminder. The next thing here is sign in and you'll see here these ones are sign in, this is create, this is sign in. So we just need to ensure that we log into all of these. I always recommend giving your flow name something that is unique and that will just help you identify it from within Power Automate if you ever do need to go and look at something. So here we've got reminder three days before check-in and I've also just included the list name so that it is easier to identify. The next item is the number of days in advance and as we had discussed that is three. And that's it. We've now created a reminder to notify yourself three days before the check-in date. So now that we know that a reminder is a time-based trigger, we can now take a look at a rule. Now rules are awesome because they are predefined triggers to notify somebody within your organization based on certain criteria. There is a fair bit of flexibility and customization here that can easily be set up right from your list. Now, if you are looking to make something that's a little bit more complex, then you can definitely look at creating some form of item in Power Automate. But for something that is quite generic, then you can definitely just create a rule right here that will just help streamline some processes right away. So let's take a look at what that looks like. So if we go to Automate, Rules, and Create a Rule, then you'll see right away that there is a bit more customization. So for example, if a column changes, if a value changes when a new item is created or when an item is deleted. So in this example, what we want to do is create a rule to trigger when this payment column is defined as need. To create a rule for that payment value defined as need, we will select when a column value changes. So in this example, the column is going to be payment. The condition is going to be is. You can also say is not, but in this example, we are going to say is, and it is going to be need. Then for the email address, you can define people. There's some suggestions here, which is the operator. That is the defined person in a column in this list created by or modified by are people who have created or modified an item. The next person is yourself. Uh, alternatively, you can even enter an email address. So there's just a little bit more customization here when it comes to the rules. And right now we are going to select me. This next screen is where we would manage our rules. So if you had created a bunch of different rules for this list, then they would appear here and you would be able to toggle them on or off. And as you can see, this is the rule that we just created, which it says when payment is or when payment equals need, send email to Amy. All right, so that wraps up this video and I do hope that I have helped you discover your inner nerd today while learning about rules and reminders in Microsoft Lists. 
If you haven't already, then please be sure to hit that subscribe button, and I would also recommend this video here. Alright, thanks for nerding out. We'll see you again.